It's all gone, man. It's all gone. Uh, yeah, so let's just talk about this. Let's just talk about this. Bitcoin has dumped, okay? Bitcoin's dumped, all right? Um, what we're going to say here is, yes, this is bad. Um, yes, on Fairdesk, we did get liquidated. But no, we didn't lose that much money, all right? And what I do want to say about Fairdesk, because it is the copy trading, we had zero assets under management. So what I did there was a high risk uh, expectation that we'd stay above 58K, okay? Uh, not really money that anyone is losing, okay? This was just me going, okay, well, screw it. Let's take a risk. Let's expect this to go up. And if, if it gets liquidated, no one loses any money, right? That's cool. That's fine. All right. So no one lost money. Uh, I lost very, very little amount of money. Okay. And uh, I did ride this down a little bit as well on a smaller account. Uh, so that's fine as well. All right. What we're doing here on the long term has not changed. All right. So what I've said here is we have got this long signal on hash rate. Okay. We had the ETF, which is the most successful ETF in history. All right. Uh, we have hash rate looking pretty decent. Okay, we'll see how this reacts today. Uh, this goes a lot lower if miners decide to sell here. All right, I will just say that this goes a lot lower if miners basically say, hey, let's turn the machines off. It's over. Let's start the bear market. Uh, this will go down. We will get the bearish signal. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, from that point, I think I think we probably end up around mid 40s. Okay, and we're already at 50k. I mean, this thing is just getting obliterated. Uh, what we will say as well is we have just completed the measure move. We are at the daily volume weighted ATR band. This is a huge, huge thing. Okay, usually around the daily volume weighted ATR band, guys, we do get um, bottoms coming. Okay, big bottoms, thick bottoms. All right. Uh, so you can see here a bit of a pump off of that one. I know it looks tiny, but uh, yeah, you can see 14% off of that one. Looks tiny, right? But 14% uh, on, on the reactions there. Okay. And then obviously it's the bump and then smash through. Then once we reclaim it again, what do we have here? 26%. Okay. Say something. Say something. All right. When's the next time we hit it? Here. Okay. <laughs> so what do you guys think is going to happen here? Uh, obviously, this is a black swan event. All right, it's probably better bringing up data from a previous black swan rather than um, an obliteration. Um, yeah, this is the, the last black swan we had, right? The COVID crash, if you guys remember it. Absolute disgusting $8,000 drop uh, all the way down. Uh, not $8,000 drop, but $8,000 down to $3,000 or $4,000. Uh, and then what happened here with this daily volume weighted ATR band, guys? Well, once we reclaimed it, we went on a 28% pump, all right? And that's, that's just over a few days. What we actually did was a 17x from that point, okay? A 17x. So uh, what we will say is, yes, it looks bleak right now. Yes, if the ETF boys pile in and, and sell as well, and the miners sell as well, this thing goes essentially probably to the low 40s, okay? And this could happen today, so just be aware of that. But what we're eyeing up here is profit, okay? We're not eyeing up... Uh, we're not eyeing up shorts really right now because this, this is, you don't want to short this, okay? You don't want to long it, <laughs> but you don't want to short it because, uh, yeah, I mean, this is just a, a red candle into the abyss and uh, obviously, yes, I mean, do you want to short after a 28% drop? Probably not. You want to bounce first and then losing the low, right? But what we will say is, uh, yes, what we're looking to do is make a low at some point around this week, okay? Uh, around this 50k zone and then from that point, we look for a trade upwards, 10%, 15%, 350 million percent towards the upside. It depends. It depends what happens, all right? But, but what we will say is that when that low comes in, that's when we're targeting the next entry for our DCA long position, okay? Uh, and yes, uh, we did think about piling it in around 60K, okay? I really did think about just banging it in, okay? But against my better judgment, or my better judgment was against my original thoughts, uh, essentially what I did here was wait, okay? We added some on Fairdesk, we added some on an, a main account, but we didn't put a massive amount in, okay? I do just wanna stress, guys, I'm probably about 10% exposed to Bitcoin right now. It's not a lot, it's not a lot at all. And th that's what risk management is, okay? Obviously that wasn't the same on Fairdesk because Fairdesk, we had no followers, no assets under management. I did just wanna uh, just, bluntly and transparently, I did just want to get this challenge up a bit because uh, I have been missing a lot of trades on Fairdesk this year. Uh, and yes, I'm going to prioritize my main account. That's where the money is, right? But uh, I did feel a bit guilty in saying, okay, well, uh, I want this challenge to be a bit more further along. So uh, yeah, we did kind of ape in on that one. <laughs> Big mistake there. Just just goes to show, yeah, you don't, you, you got to manage your risk better than that, of course. But 
I did manage my risk well on my main accounts. So what we will say here is, yes, we're looking to add to our position somewhere around where we are right now. But uh, we want to see if this goes lower first because this is a swan event. If the traditional markets do pile in, I'm talking institutions, I'm talking miners, right? Uh, if this does want to head down to these levels, then uh, we can find an even lower entry and bring our average entry down lower okay uh, if this does head down to 40 or even sub 40 uh, i will just be banging in buys okay i will <laughs> and the reason for that is i mean bitcoin loves to bounce bitcoin is a business market makers need to make money from bitcoin they can't make money if it just goes down okay that's just the facts that's the facts all right uh, and they do control most of the bitcoin supply all right uh, out of everyone anyway um and the market makers are also probably owned by blackrock let's be real so uh yes for this to continue as a business uh, this needs to go sideways at some point and that's exactly what i'm going to talk about next all right so what we're going to be doing here for bitcoin not just bitcoin but altcoins when this does hit the low uh, obviously Obviously, DCA strategy still in play. We're still looking for a massive bull run. Okay, so yes, we are going to be trying to get our average entry lower, but uh, the sideways market could potentially come very, very soon. And if that is going to be what's happening, then what we're going to be doing is setting up a grid bot in this area because after massive dumps, we get massive volatility. All right, a great example here. Okay, let's just see where else, where else have we got. Yeah, obviously, if it's a V-shape, completely different, but that's fine. If we're in a grid bot here, we just make profit and then we close the grid bot. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> uh, but yeah, after massive dumps, massive volatility. After massive dump, ridiculously volatile. Okay, volatile. So yes, what we're expecting here after this is a massive sideways range or a V-shape recovery. Okay, uh, this again being the COVID crash, I believe. Yes, um, massive volatility in this area as well, right? This doesn't look like it's super volatile. But that's because we're zoomed out. If we do just look at these kind of ranges here, guys. I mean, super volatile, all right? Uh, just this 15% range here uh, over a few a week or two, right? <laughs> this is crazy. This is crazy profit here. Uh, and yeah, if, if we did go down to uh, to the lower time frames on this, I'm not going to because it's so hard to find it again. But uh, this thing is just rapidly going up and down, all right? So after a big event like this, yes, uh, some people will be scared. Some people will be filled with adrenaline. And yes, it is, is an adrenaline pumping thing when you see a, a chart like this, right? But... What we will say is this is something that is an opportunity and that opportunity is very, very soon. After big moves, the market is most predictable, okay? Uh, not during the big move, okay, but after it. So what we're gonna be doing is waiting for that low to come in, okay? I'm just gonna double check I'm recording here. Yeah, great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to wait for that load to come in. All right. And then from that point, we're going to be targeting a big sideways range. And we're going to be setting up that grid bot and banging it from that point. Okay. That's not what I wanted to do. Here we go. Beautiful stuff. All right. So uh, I will be... I will be trying to recover that fair desk account, okay? But I do just want to stress here, guys, this is going to be high risk. We're going to we're going to make it or break it with this fair desk trading challenge, right? I'm okay to fail. I'm okay to fail. I don't care, okay? It's fine. <laughs> but uh, yeah, obviously the the main point is yeah, the money has been made on the main account. We've had a fantastic year, guys, on the main account. So uh, I'm not really worried. And I am going to start bringing over and showing you guys some of those main accounts as well because uh, it might look a little bit sus, all right? But uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna transfer over to another exchange, potentially a BYD Fi or something like this, uh, and then really show you guys and show you guys what it's what it's going more of like a crypto face style, all right? And I may even just live stream it as well. Uh, but yeah, we'll see how that goes because I'm a super busy guy. I'm trying to start a charity. I'm doing lots of different stuff, and yeah, it's 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 hard to find time to do those live streams, right? They're hours long, and I've got meetings all the time. So what we will say here is yes, uh, it's been a great year. Yes, we are we are in the red over the past couple of weeks because of this, of course, right? But uh, everything's justified, right? This long signal usually comes through, that's fine, okay? We didn't bang in everything, okay? Uh, we're, te we're like 10% exposed right now, so we are chilling uh, and we're waiting for a lower entry. And uh, after we do reclaim these kind of levels, 50K-ish, right? That's probably the time where we do get a bit more of a pumper rumper up, okay? So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Have a fantastic one. Remember, do not trade, okay? If you feel that adrenaline in your blood, okay? I know it happens. You can feel it. It's a little tingle in your blood, right? It's just me? Okay. <laughs> if it's a little tingle in your blood, you got that adrenaline, do not take the trade. It means your brain is not thinking correctly, okay? So just bear that in mind, all right? Thank you. Like the video, and I will see you in the next one. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you got wrecked. Let me know if you made money, and uh, I'll see you very, very soon. Cheers.